Hi Taurus, this is Sha speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and um, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th and Taurus you're the first one on the list as you had 67 likes thank you very much for your uh, likes and thumbs up and that's why you are number one. That is my way of saying thank you. And like I prom uh, like I promised everybody that if you got thumbs up and the mo the one that gets the most thumbs up or likes, they will be first. So this is your reading for the twenty second mm -hmm. to the twenty eighth of June. And we are in the uh, zodiac sign of cancer so we're in cancer energy so I hope it will be gentle nurturing loving caring energy and passionate so there will be hopefully a lot of passion and love floating around this month or the coming month or weeks rather I'm using the shadow lands that you can win in the competition and I'm also using the House of Shadows. It's by the same author, Monica Boldersky, and I'm using the Oracle, uh, the Queen of the Moon Oracle, and I'm using postcards from Spirit, and I'm using the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And I will go into this one a little bit more. I've been doing the dailies with these cards and I think they're also very awesome. Somebody gave them to me for my birthday. Thank you. And here we are. This is, I'm going to do the nine card spread again. This is um, the queer range, you or the overall energy. You can decide for yourself what resonates with you much better. Um, if you, this reading doesn't resonate with you, because it is a general reading, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm using the cards in the corner um, for extra information to clarify the three cards around it, or the three cards will clarify the card in the corner. Okay. Let's get started. First of all, the querent or the overall energy is the king of pentacles. Everything that you will be touching or will be doing will turn out positive uh, because the king of pentacles is Taurus. So you might be meeting a Taurus, although this is your reading Taurus. So you will be in your um, utmost uh, fabulous energy this week. So you should be, because you are in the reading, you're the first card. Or you might be meeting another Taurus, but don't exclude Capricorn or Virgo. So everything you touch will turn out to be perfect, because the King of Pentacles stands for the neatest touch. Everything he touches will turn to gold. Then we go on to Monday, and we have the Page of Wands. And the page of wands could be any of the fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, and they might be bringing you news, but you will be receiving news on Monday. This could be about a job. This could also be about something that you're passionate or creative with or passionate about. So that could be a hobby as well. Great stuff. Sounds good. And on Wednesday, you have the Five of Wands. Now, this is a card. Uh, a lot of readers say this is a disagreement, but I don't really agree with that because disagreements and arguments is the Five of Swords. This is com the competition. It's young in the traditional tarot deck. It's young men joisting with joysticks. And that's why these ants or monsters, little beings, are, uh, with the horns on their head are joisting. They're not fighting, they're having fun. They're seeing who is, would, will, would be or is the winner. So they're having a game. 
So you might be going to sports on Wednesday. You might be even in a competition of some kind on Wednesday. So forewarned is for answer. Get ready. You're going to have to train in order to win this. But I think you will win this because it's next door to the King of Pentacles. Okay. And you know how to defend yourself. On Friday, you've got number seven, which is good luck. And the number seven is the seven of wands, means that you might feel you have to defend yourself. Perhaps, yes, look at this. They're not fighting, they're having competition. You might have to defend yourself in the competition. So it could be kickboxing or it could be boxing. Um, something with an opponent that you have to protect yourself. Well, you can because you can stand your ground. You're stronger than you think. You're not scared of a bit of competition. You think it is fun. Now, on Saturday and Sunday, you have the Ten of Swords upside down. Okay, if it's like this, the right side up, then somebody might have gossiped about you or stuck a knife in your back or you might have backache. Um, there is an ending and there is a new beginning because 10 stays a 10. <clears throat> but the good news is nobody has been uh, vindictive towards you, not even behind your back. And you don't have to sit in the corner and sulk. You might not feel very happy at the weekend because... Uh, you think something did go wrong, but you actually have won your competition. You have proven yourself to be strong and to be right and to be clear and to be honest. So nobody is stabbing you in the back. Nothing bad is happening or has happened this week because you've also got the, the King of Pentacles and everything will turn out okay. Now we're going to start with the first corner and you've got the crossroads, number 22. The angels have your back. It's an angel number and two and two is four. So there is something with proper foundations. You've um, done well in this competition. Perhaps the competition is applying for a job. Okay. And you've got more than one choice as you have crossroads. So you have to make decisions or a choice. And this will be the choice that you're going to make will be good because it's also lying by the king. You see, you will get that job. You will have passion. You are creative enough to um, be the top notch. You will come across as a king. You know how to invest. You know how to do it because he's also very practical and he does it for long term and with durability. Mm -hmm. You might come in with an answer that is durable and the others will see that it is durable and realistic and it will be there for a long time. It will be for, of good use. So you will be there for a long time as well. That is your new beginning. Okay. Lovely, I like that bit of news. I hope you do too. Then you have Ghost 41. You might be a little bit out of whack. And, you know, um, the, the ghosts are something from the past. Perhaps something, uh, you know, somebody somebody's left this realm and um, they might be coming back or memories of that person might be coming back uh, to, for you. Perhaps you're thinking about somebody from the past or a person that has passed over. Now, memories. It could be good memories. It could also be bad memories. But it might have affected you in the past. Perhaps this was like that in the past. Um, but like I said, nothing is bad for you this week. You have learned how to step away from other people's drama or even the hurt or the loss of this person that has left this realm. 
So I think this ghost is more of um, um, somebody that has taught you something and you're just remembering and you by remembering them that's them coming into your mind showing you that you're on the right road okay and not to be scared of the competition <clears throat> so that is their sign their bit of news or it could be a gut feeling or you might pass a photo of this person that's left this realm and that is also them uh, guiding you to the photo. Nothing is a coincidence. Then we have the child. And the child we all have to learn. And we have to learn it in a playful way. Now the child means that you might get pregnant, or find out you're pregnant, or you might be hearing of a birth. This could be a birth of a child. It could also be a birth of a new project, a job or a hobby don't lose your head about it okay don't worry because everything is good don't take everything too hard don't be too serious again you've got a four now you've got a four here and a four here 13 means you will have new friends okay 13 is fellowship you will be part of a crowd again. You will feel belonging to something. You might not feel as if you belong to a group, but if you get a new job, you'll have new colleagues. So you will be, <coughs> excuse me, you will belong to a new group. Don't lose your head. Hold on to it like this child's body is doing. <laughs> and just float away and dream sometimes. Let the inner child come out. Come out and play. Don't sit in the corner. Don't isolate yourself. And just, you might be meeting, um, uh, like I said, you might be meeting a Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn Taurus. So don't hide away. Or you can meet a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. So you've got the fire signs here and here above the king. So don't worry about it. You are strong enough to know what you want and you will get it. Wow. Now we're going on to this card in the corner and that is the man. Okay. Number 28 becomes the tin. So that is an ending. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it's a new beginning. So you might even meet a man if you're a lady. Even if you're a man, you might meet a man too. You might have a new buddy to go to the football matches with or whatever. And now we're going into the... Um, Goddess of the Moon card and I think this is such a beautiful card it's number 29 so again that becomes an, an 11 so again the angels are showing you and uh, that they're here it is hunger and hunger is the wolf moon okay the wolf moon okay Feed the good and hope within you, right? Feed the good and hope within you. That is what is, so don't hide away. Come out, come out of the shadows and join a club, join a new community. And that is how you can feed your emotions. And that's also how you can feed your hope and good by being the beacon by joining the competition there will always be a lean part of the cycle prosperity will come do not let your hunger blindly dictate your actions okay 
So don't let a voice inside you or your feelings let you stay where you are. You have to grow, so go out there, mingle with people, gather knowledge. That is the decision that you have to make. If you want to join the group and you don't want to feel left out, then make the decision to go out and be the beacon. Now we've got the postcard from heaven. You are loved. Just remember that. <clears throat> dearest you, dearest Taurus, we here on the other side, the ghosts, have one important thing to declare. Love is the answer to literally everything. We don't necessarily mean romantic or erotic love, although they are wonderful, but something above and beyond that. Everything alive in the world was first created by love. Spirits sense love to animate life and birth. It birthed into existence. Love is without conditions and it is based in a reference and a fierce and joyful respect for life. They are the new beginning, the child, the birth of a child or a project. Love thrives when you focus on it and we want you to turn away from anything that causes it to wane. So take step away from people's drama. Love is when you no longer see yourself as others. Separate from better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. Can you let go of what is not love and ask, what would I love to do? Love is waiting for you, always and forever. We just adore you over here. So there are people that have passed over and they're still with you and this is their message. Now I shook the cards, so they're telling you we love you. Don't forget that. And don't wane away from society. Or, and, but wane away from uh, other people's drama. <clears throat> now you've got the Adian Cross. Okay. And you've got number two, so you're back in balance. The Adian cross represents the cosmolo cosmolo lo cosmology of the shaman. It depicts the four cardinal directions, the upper, the lower, and the steps to reach these realms. The whole of the center is a gateway to interdimensional travel. The proverbial eye of the needle we can all go through to experience higher states of awareness and wisdom to break free from linear time. So we can break away. We don't have to sit in the corner. We can walk through. The Adian Cross announces the start to a great journey, perhaps a new job or a new sport competition you're strong enough to protect yourself but remember the angels are there with you the avian cross announces the start to a great journey it's time to race your gaze from the monday day to day to that which until now has seemed beyond your grasp Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. Now what did I say? Don't hide yourself away. Be playful. Go out there and mingle with people. I'm losing my voice, sorry. 
mingle with people and play <coughs> be like the child learn in a playful way don't take everything so serious because you are learning and you never stop learning okay and you'll never stop competing it will keep you on your toes don't be negative come out of that corner and boom you have your new beginning and i think you're going to come out of your corner because you are stronger than you think i love this reading it's really good and hungry hunger yes be hunger like the ones competition keeps you on your toes you are be hungry to learn from new things like children are they're inquisitive and playful so have that hunger feed that what needs to be fed within you whether it's knowledge whether it's um, confidence or whether it's mental strength or rest take time out don't work all the time that's being too serious it makes you a dull person learn to bring the balance between work and play there's a lot of passion too here or with all these passion cards or one cards once cards fire cards is action passion and creativity so that is also um, a message here be more playful okay Taurus thank you very much for all your likes and please give us the thumbs up if you want to be the first again next week um, keep on going hit that, um, that bell <coughs> sorry about losing my voice so hit those thumbs and if you're new and if you've enjoyed this reading then please subscribe and hit that bell on all and then you should be um, notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are uh, supported with a donation, a super chat or a super sticker. Okay, my cyber angels, thank you very much for your loyalty and coming back and watching the videos. And you can um, thank you to the newcomers and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, you can find information below this video um, in the description box. And you can click on that white circle in the top right hand corner. And that will take you to the website. And remember, there is a competition going at the moment until the end of August. And um, at the end of this week, I will be going live to discuss any issues, problems or suggestions with regards to the competition. I love you all, so take care and be blessed and stay safe. Ciao, ciao.